Okay. Um, so, how soon are you ready to make a commitment? Are you ready to make a five hundred dollar deposit in the next couple of weeks? By the way, anybody that needs to make payments tonight, make sure you get them out of the way. I'm gonna be out of town tomorrow. One of Roland's most promising students was Tony Jones. Hey, man. hey how you doing? Pretty good. I'm tired. Just got off work. Yeah, I know how to work. Yes. Time to get off today. I work at Visa right now. I've been working at Visa for about two and a half years, and I'm pretty content there. I mean, I make I make pretty good money. I usually get about $25, $25 to do a gym wars show. I take all the damage for $25, and um, I use the experience to try to better myself and get out of there. Don't get me wrong, there's times when we don't get paid at all. $25 sometimes is a, is a privilege. He tells you that he doesn't pay you unless he feels that you had a good match and you're worth it. They get paid after every show and they're loving it, you know, and, and, and they're getting paid well. I, I really believe that I'm probably the best indie promoter as far as payoffs are concerned. You know, there's no excuse for not paying someone. You have to be a prick in this business. If you don't, the wrestlers will run all over you. Their egos are such and, and, and their character is such that they will just walk all over you. So if you think you can be a nice guy and be a successful promoter in professional wrestling, you better get out of this business right now. See, James, you went in like you're going to give him a blowjob. Your, your face was right in the middle of his pelvis. Mike Modest you, you was Roland's golden job. boy. Your head's be tucked in Therefore, outside. Mike was given a room above the gym. How long have you been living here? Uh, I've been living here for about, uh, for about a year, year and a half. Not making a killing in wrestling, Mike supports himself by working for a local funeral home, picking up bodies. I don't fool myself. I'm very realistic about uh, wrestling in the United States, that Japan would be the place for me to go. Because in Japan, they still appreciate the sport side of it. Whereas, you know, in the U.S., it's become almost completely um, entertainment in Hollywood. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to APW Wars. The night I was there, the boys wrestled before a record-breaking crowd of 112 people. Fans are close to the action, sometimes too close. Like this guy in the uh, green shirt who spat on a wrestler. This guy here, his real job, mechanic for United Airlines. I'm calling you out right now, motherfucker. Meanwhile, it seems like he's got pretty good timing. I showed footage of Mike and Tony uh, to Jim Ross back at the WWF. And it seems like he's he agreed athletic. to give them a tryout. Mike Modis has been ready for a year. And it's, it's sad. Mike Modis is two, 215 pounds, and he's too big to be a flyer, and he's too small to be a heavyweight. And for him not to have a contract is a travesty. Tony, Mike, and Roland's big day had come. They were about to get their tryout with a WWF. Tonight, you'll probably go on first or second early. Don't get nervous because the people are not going to know who you are because you haven't been on TV. So the most important thing is you're telling them the story. They're not telling you the story. So even if they don't get with it, with it at first, don't get going too fast. You, when you go too fast, you start making mistakes. So the ring's bigger, the ropes. Or looser. I can't pounce off the ropes like I usually do. I gotta work it more. It's kind of an amazing uh, sight. You know, I, you know, I, I, when I first walked in today, I said, "Jesus, God, this is so big and so complex." And, 
hope APW never gets to that point. I, I always just picture myself just being content with a small regional promotion in Northern California, but who knows, you know, who knows if, what will happen to APW, but you know, it's kind of an amazing sight. <laughs> I think Roland was even more nervous than Tony and Mike. That's because if the WWF signed his boys, Roland would receive 20% of their contract. What do you guys think so far? I think he's doing good. Both of them. He's shooting. Oh, look. First time I've seen Tony in person. That's a nice bridge. Nice rustling move for a change. I've never seen Tony either. I've seen Michael's. Modest, modest is pretty solid. Jesus Ooh, Christ, I think maybe we need a little work there. Yeah. You know? I gotta run. You give me a videotape? Yeah. Okay. Tony's got a big frame. He's working on his upper body a little bit. The people are not crucifying him even though they don't know him, which is well, they, good. Because I told him that always throws guys off. They're giving us what they got. That's all you can ask. What is it? Oh my God! I've never seen that one before. I have that's never seen that before. That's pretty spectacular. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm stealing it. Huh? I'm you gonna steal it? Right. Nice move. Well, I like the effort. That was a good season. Yeah. yeah. I love the effort. Nice job. I was very impressed. Appreciate it. Very Both of you guys. Thank you. And we'll look. Uh, we'll, we will. Uh, I'm sure we'll be looking at this tape. Okay. And you never know what comes out out of it. Hopefully, okay. good. Work on your arms, and you might, and get, get something that's a bit more flattering for you. A little bit more mass on the upper, up, up, you know, upper, upper arms. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna be. Then you get in the hunt. I knew right when I hit it, I, I knew that's, that's it. Did you hear me say go home? Oh, yeah. yeah. I said, I said go home. Go home. Some of the boys were already saying, oh yeah, I'm gonna steal that move. I'm gonna steal that move. <laughs> I think the overall reaction was. Um, Tony's got a lot of potential. Modest is ready. I think that was the overall reaction. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Kind of nerve-wracking out there, isn't it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> I was saying, it's a bit, probably you know, the most nerve-wracking couple minutes of your life. Yeah, you know, yeah it was. There. It was. Yeah. Roland and the boys left that night excited. Their expectations high that they would soon hear from the WWF. While Tony and Mike were beginning their career, a wrestling legend was nearing the end of his. Terry Funk. My favorite wrestler growing up was Terry Funk. A lot of guys acted crazy, but Terry made you believe it might be true. At age 53, Terry was still going strong. So I went to Texas to meet Terry Funk. I went to his hometown of Amarillo where he was a bit of a local celebrity. I was excited. I'd never met a legend before. Yes. Time to get up, dear. Rise and shine. Fuck, go it up! Morning. Terry Funk, with a message for women. Your high country Chevy dealers are so caring. They love nothing more than to shine a happy faces during summer closeout. You think he'll quit? I think he really is being serious about it lately. He's really confided in us and Brandy, don't you think? 
Yeah, I think for once.